Organic food, worth the extra money? We've all been there. The frozen chicken aisle, it's cold. Do I get organic, free range, normal? Is it too much to ask for a chicken that comes from a stable background with a 401k? We'll get back to that chicken. But here are five foods you definitely don't need to buy organic. Avocados. Even though organic, locally grown avocados has a nice ring to it, you're wasting your money, Tiffany. That's because only 1% of avocados show traces of pesticides. So buy the regular kind and put your savings towards your Burning Man fund. Seafood. The guidelines for what makes seafood organic are, wait for it, fishy. In fact, the US doesn't really have any. That's because you can't control what a fish eats or the toxins it's exposed to, especially if it's caught in the wild. And if you see a fish being labeled organic, you're either being scammed or it's from a country with different guidelines. Bonjour, grapefruit. You don't have to buy organic grapefruit because harmful things can't penetrate its tough skin. Why don't you stop making videos for your online friends and get a real job? Sorry, I don't know where dad came from. Um, that came from. Potato chips. Don't let marketing gimmicks trick you into thinking potato chips are gonna be any healthier just because they're organic. Organic potatoes fried in organic oil are still going to give you an organic breakout. Vegetables that bugs think are gross. If the vegetables don't attract pests to begin with, they're not gonna require many pesticides. Fun fact, bugs are so small because they don't eat their vegetables. Asparagus, broccoli, onions, and cabbage are all veggies you don't need to spend extra on. There are certain foods you probably should get organic. Like, remember that chicken we talked about earlier? But there are others you should probably organize.